Hey everyone, welcome back to your general love reading for Virgos. Welcome back to House of Virgo. My name is Kelly. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Um, oh, okay, stuff falling. All right, let's get started with your reading, Virgo. Um, if you guys would like to join in on Fridays from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be going live doing paid readings, $20 for one card. You can pay through Super Chat. Um, so I'll be posting the um, upcoming live stream so you can join in every Friday and go live with me and get a quick a quickie reading from me. All right, Virgo. Okay, let's see. Have the Empress, the Two of Cups, ooh, King of Swords. Oh, here's that Sun card. <laughs> Always with the Leo. Okay, there's you again, center of your reading. You know what that means, Virgo? That means that you are like center of the world. Okay, Six of Wands. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, okay. Probably the worst card that we could get. Just one though, everything else looks pretty darn good here. Let's see, okay, Five of Cups in the reverse. So this is a good sign, grieving is over. Somebody you might be connecting with. Um, kind of feels like, well, Coming to the end of some kind of struggle, still holding on, but wanting another opportunity with you. You might have been connecting with someone um, where something might have ended. We have the lovers in the reverse here, Gemini energy. Um, I feel like there might have been a time of unmanageability in this connection or in this relationship somebody was grieving this person might have been sad i don't know if this person i don't mean i don't know i just mean it feels like maybe somebody was suffering from a bit of depression or just a really low mood perhaps because a lot of burdens that they were carrying around just exhausted perhaps couldn't be what you needed them to be because they had like either a, they had a heavy load that they were carrying okay and they just it feels like they, this person was not able to give you what you needed or desired or wanted okay and it feels like this person is kind of coming out of this now here you know it feels like this person was just because they had to work or because they had something else they had to attend to they had so much on their plate they were kind of down in the dumps i feel about that because they couldn't they couldn't make you happy or give you what you needed but it feels to me like they're coming out of this because this ten of wands is like the end of a struggle okay the finale it's done i don't feel like this person ever intended to let go i feel like they were still holding on and the opportunity is now presenting itself for them to come forward. Okay. Now we do have the King of Swords here. So that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Leo and like I said, Libra. All right, let's see what your love messages are. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? Virgo's love messages. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Wondering what song I'm going to be singing today. Let's see. Passion. Allow your heart to, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. Religious factors. That was the same as yesterday. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay. This is definitely definitely someone from your past definitely okay let me just fix myself here all right let's see what is the deal 
Okay, so this person coming through as an air sign, okay? And so when I, when I pick out, when I say like one court card, whatever your person's sign is, they are showing up in air element, which means very logical, um, a very heady kind of a person, quick-witted, analytical, sharp, um, I feel like this person, the two of cups is here. You're, you're just shining bright. This is what I feel like is going on here because you're sitting here, male or female, it doesn't matter. You're sitting here in the middle of this whole reading. Like you're at the center. You're at the center of this reading. You're in the spotlight. I, it feels to me like, based on what I was saying before here, that this person wants to um, have like a romantic exchange with you. Coming halfway, this feels very much like a soulmate kind of thing here. Very passionate about you. It feels to me like you're showing up here as like this person wants a new beginning here they look at you and they just see you're like still virgo cream of the crop top of the line <laughs> what did i say the other day choice your choice your top shelf in this person's in, in their in their mind in their when they look at you and they think of you and it feels like they're very passionate about you and it feels like this person wants to connect with you. Now, for some, I will say, this could be someone from your past. But for others, there is possibly somebody new coming in here who is an air sign. And meeting this person gives you the sense of like, wow, I feel like I've known you my whole life. Okay. And that's for October. Now, let's take a look at this Empress energy. Okay, the moon. Oh, they see you as very mysterious, Virgo. Very, like, like the moon. You know what I mean? How, no, you don't, because I need to, I'm trying to transmute this message here. It's like Virgo only comes out at night. You're like, very, it just feels like a very mysterious energy about you. And you're kind of hiding. Maybe you're hiding during the day. You only, you, you only come out at night. I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, but it feels to me like this person, they look at you and they see you as being someone of very few words. Very dreamy with that moon. They can't really get a handle on you. And it's intriguing. Okay. Gemini energy, the magician. Yeah. Oh boy. This person's going to lay all their cards on the table, all their cards on the table with you and, and tell you they're very passionate about you and they want to either get together for drinks or coffee or have dinner together, um, come together, spend time together in the month of October. Let's get another, because the King of Swords is like a communicator. Let's get another card for the Magician, because you have two major arcanas here. The Magician, show us the Magician. Two of Pentacles again, okay. This person is like making up their mind here, making a decision. Let me see this moon. Show us this moon. What? Three of Swords. Must have been some kind of, um, well, they feel like you're heartbroken. And you're hiding. Perhaps there was something going on in the past. Well, nothing going on in the past. This person was just perhaps too busy for you. You know, they just didn't have time for the relationship. They had a lot going on. They wanted to be able, like there was potential here um, for something to happen between the two of you. And again, with the Knight of Wands, just like I said, very passionate about you but they weren't able to meet you halfway. They weren't able to give you what you wanted. And now they're ready. It feels like this person is ready to come forward. 
Two of Cups, please. Yep. There's the Fool card. They're throwing all their... They're free. This is what... They, they were not free before. They weren't free in the past. I don't know what was specifically keeping this person held up, um, but whatever it was, it was just too much on their plate, and they just didn't have their hands free, their time free, or what have you to come together with you. So, so I would definitely have to say, expect some communication from this person. They've, they've been juggling and trying to hold up many plates, these spinning plates, and now they're only, you know, now they, now they don't have any and, and what they do have, everything is settled. I feel like they settled some things in the past. They did have a sense of remorse and grief that they weren't able to give you what they wanted, what you wanted. They they de they definitely wanted to provide for you or try to meet your needs. And I feel there's this, there is a sense of grief and remorse about that. But now they're coming in, and it's like, yes, I'm I'm here, I'm here. Some of you, maybe you were waiting for this person. For others, maybe you just disappeared. Like, you know, you just kind of pulled back your energy because you were hurt about that. Some of you felt like there was a third party. And th I don't see that there was a third party in the sense of another person here. That very well could have been your story. But it feels like there was, a, there was interference. And perhaps it was work or other duties, children, um, other things that they had to take care of. There's a sense here of freedom, and we have Aquarian energy here. Okay, Virgo, you know what? I just, you look so amazing right here. You know, again, with these religious factors, that there are some type of um, influences. There's some type of differences between you and this person, definitely. But you looks so like you're in success mode you're shining bright you've gone from this moon energy to this positive vibe here and i feel like it's because this person's coming in and um telling you you know um perhaps it could be something along the lines of like they're sorry that they hurt you um or they're sorry they weren't able to be there for you like maybe you both had planned or what you wanted or if this is somebody new coming in um, that they were interested in you before but they weren't able to come forward now they can I just see you beaming and there's huge differences between you and this person let's take a look at this Sun here there's this the Sun card sits here it's a very it's a very playful energy it's joyous and the six of wands it's like an, a little bit of an ego boost for you <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> i feel like this person is also looking at you they they feel very happy about you they want to be successful with you they see you being like recognized in some way look the wheel of fortune here for the sun positive changes this whole situation coming in i know some of you are like i i left and i'm done with that i feel this is a lot more for those who were giving their person space and time to sort things out and if that's your situation you weren't planning on giving up on this relationship i feel like it's they're coming in now here Okay, so you have temperance. You're very balanced. You're at peace. You're going to be at peace. Okay, six of wands in the chariot. Sagittarius. Cancer. Scorpio. There's a lot of peace coming in here. And the chariot is change. There's change. Action and change. This person... I feel like if there's travel involved or uh, if there's travel involved, this person is, despite the differences, whatever the, um, I don't know, it just feels like they really want to see you. They really want to spend time with you and be with you and get things moving in the right direction. Let me get the wheel of year here. Yep. Eight of Wands. Oh, wait, is that? Yeah, Eight of Wands. Okay. 
a lot of communication and love you're going to be feeling like gold from this person you're going to be feeling like definitely travel very po like now is the time it's time now um the eight of wands is like good news coming in and i feel like you're going to get very good news some of you are going to be coming into some a good bit of money as well there's there's definitely um you're going to get something in the mail or some news or email or something coming in where you're going to receive like a lump sum payment of something that might be <laughs> for some of you it might be like <laughs> hmm relationship with this person or riches relationship or riches <laughs> um for those of you who are just like done with the past and you're not trying to have this reconciliation thing, I feel like you're like, oh, riches, riches, lump sum, money coming in, winning some lotteries or something along those lines will be very like definitely six of wands is a card of being a winner <laughs> and your life about to is going to be able to be changed because of a good financial windfall. OK, and some of you might entertain this person to, who is ready to come forward. But then if that's the case, boy, it's like double winnings here for some of you. Religious factors, they said pull a card on this, okay? Yeah, you guys, there's definitely blocks into your in your spiritual beliefs. I feel like it's mostly your beliefs are very different. Some of you wanna be married and be in a, married in a church. Um, while others don't some of you believe in god while another person is maybe an atheist you know it's like uh, somebody might be christian or catholic and another whatever and another person might be you know like um a muslim like there's some type of religious differences here that I don't feel like either one of you are really willing to let go of your beliefs. You have different beliefs. It doesn't, okay, here's the King of Cups again, always starting to show up in your readings a lot more lately. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, but I do feel, it actually feels like you are the one who is very spiritual or you have a very strong um, spiritual foundation. This person really doesn't. They're a bit blocked. Um, they may not believe in a higher power um, or it's just along the same lines as you do. Okay, It does influence your relationship in some way. So I feel like that's a message to take that into consideration if that's very important to you. Now they're just saying pull a card for passion. So let's see. Oh, what are the odds? Knight of Wands. Oh boy. This person's very physically attracted to you, Virgo. Like passion off the charts here. Okay. Totally. They're definitely coming in. They want to hug and kiss and sit together on the couch and watch movies and just hold each other and um, cuddle and all that stuff with you. <laughs> Virgo. Oh my gosh. Ten of Cups. It's happening, Virgo. This energy is playing out. This person is definitely coming in. Even if this is somebody new for you, Virgo, it's happening. I'm feeling October. I feel like this person, even though they have their beliefs and you have yours, um, there's going to be a way to sort out a marriage situation or, or a possible uh, future raising children or just being on the same page. There's going to be a way to sort that out. Let's see. Well, Ten of Pentacles here. Wow. Okay, there's something here about meeting family, meeting the kids, other family members, people who are important to you, people who are important to them. That is going to be brought up. That's going to be talked about, but it's going to be like, 
I think there's a lot of restrictions. So that's going to be something that has to be talked about because this might not be the right time. And when I say restrictions, I mean, you know, what's going on in the world. Okay. I think, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> wait until everything is gone. Do you know what I mean? Like wait until things really let up. I feel like this is going to be a, uh, it's going to be kind of tough to get into the whole, you know, coming together. I feel like right now this person just wants to spend time with you, just you and they. They don't want to go into the whole meeting other family members, meeting friends, all of that stuff. And I don't really feel like you, I feel like you would kind of be okay with that for now because of, I feel like October there's going to be um, like another high numbers coming around and some lockdowns and stuff going on. So it might not be the right time. There might, might have to just be waiting for that a little bit. Okay, that tower card is Scorpio energy. All right, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. Oh boy, yeah. See, that's what I was talking about. Four of Wands. Meeting the family. Business partners, things like that. You know, people who are important to you, people who are important to them. All right, and the Two of Pentacles here. This is kind of like, all right, we're going to have to talk about it, weigh things out, figure things out. It feels like a very domestic, look, Ten of Pentacles again. Yep, it feels like a, a very domestic read. <laughs> a very domestic reading, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I feel like this person just wants to have the opportunity to be with you. You come across to them as quite mysterious but very handsome very beautiful they know they broke your heart i feel like um, they know that you were hurt but they're they want to come in and try to have like mutual exchange to have a romantic experience or time with you to start things up again okay yeah nine of wands here on the tower yeah there's kind of, it, that's just a card of um, re, um, like boundaries, like now is not the time, but we are, you know, you and this person are meant to be together. So it's, it's definitely like your past person. And for others, this is somebody new where, like I said, you connect with each other and then you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like we've known each other forever. There's, it's very kismetish. It's very soulmate energy. Okay, let's take a look at the emotional stuff going on here. How's everybody doing? Are you all excited for the Friday night read? And right after the Friday night live stream, then I will have this next reading up right after that. So it's going to be like a double. <laughs> But the, the Friday night live stream is just going to be paid readings. So pop in the chat, even if you just want to hang out and say hi. And if anybody here has reached out to me to be a moderator, um, if you haven't sent me your phone number, I'm not going to be able to add you as a moderator. So please make sure, check the email. If you've sent me an email and you didn't include your phone number, you need to have WhatsApp. So I can add you to the mod squad group. All right, let's see the emotions here. I'm becoming a better person. Okay, boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, see that's what I was saying. Because of restrictions, it just feels like it's not time to go any further than just the two of you, okay? Um, there may be somebody who's ill or there may be a chance of illness. Okay. And that seems to be like really important to your person. Um, as far as like, you know, this day and age we live in, it's like, what is, what's going on in this world? We have to take so many precautions and so many places are like on really heavy lockdowns and, or mandates and a lot of stuff going on, you know? And so it, it really, it, 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 no more free love. That's what I feel like. Free love is like out the door. <laughs> okay, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. 
Okay. And I feel like that has a lot to do with this this meeting of the family and and friends and that kind of thing. Um, doesn't feel like you and your... I feel like you both have had distance. And it feels like a little time apart. Um, like both of you together away from other family members and other people just spending time together just both of you here's the apology and i was feeling that definitely apology sorry for hurting you remember i said that and i feel like this person is definitely coming in with an apology for something that they either did or didn't do or they failed to do okay children are important to this partnership okay there's a there's something here with children or grandchildren where there's kind of like I'm just getting this strong vibe of you and this person coming together and isolating together so that there's no chance or risk of um, virus spreading to other family members. Some, you know, both of you may not have done the whole VAX thing um, or someone or one may not have done it or both have done it but it just feels like there's maybe some more lockdowns or something happening towards the end of October perhaps all right let's see abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now I'm telling you Virgo you guys are coming into some money 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 definitely I don't know if you're getting a big payout for something or you're just going to find some extra money in your account that you didn't know was coming um, <laughs> or somebody owes you money and they're paying you back or you're going to get it. It's going to be very um, like a small fortune, a small little windfall, windfall that's going to help you greatly. Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. All right, some of you... You know, I know there's times when the readings are like, stay away from red flags and all that. This doesn't really feel like this to me. This feels like, you know, if you if you were in a really a relationship that was not good, um, this is an energy of someone that you may have connected with in the past, but you don't have a history with. And things might have just been kind of like, yes, it looks good, and then it stopped and now it's coming back again. This could have been someone from like last year or the year before, and it's Mercury retrograde. And for others, this is your past person, okay? Past, past, okay, leap of faith. This person is coming in now. There's the leap of faith. The full card is the leap of faith coming in, making this move, taking a chance, coming forward. Oh my goodness. I just heard the name Matthew. I just heard the name Matthew. Who is Matthew? All right. Or Matt. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Hmm. Maybe Matthew is in denial. Passion. Oh my gosh, that's twice. And two Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this person's very passionate. It's crazy about you. Or it's just really attracted to you big time. Let me take a look here and see what your advice is. You guys, I am going to um, cut this a little short um, just because I've been running around all day buying new furniture. Um, shopping i've been busy with my sons and um, i'm a little tired <laughs> um, so i hope that you don't mind this isn't going to go all the way to an hour <laughs> although i am going to try to hit the hour mark but tonight is just kind of like kelly kel needs a little sleep and a little rest and i've been up since about 5 30 so it was still dark when i woke up this morning all right let's see Virgo's advice. 
Oh, there's Queen of Swords back again. Brilliant, experienced, humorous. There's air all over this. Okay. Judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you or just don't meet you halfway. Somebody new is coming in to meet you halfway or just this is just a person that you feel or have felt before like you were meant to be together. A lot of you are focusing on your career, which is good. You're able to maintain balance between love and career uh, some of you might be divorced or unmarried but i'll tell you what i see marriage here in the future um definitely ten of cups ten of pentacles twice with this person now some of you might have connected with this person a while ago and you weren't in a relationship with them and something it didn't go forward it didn't happen and now they're coming back around again look look oh for some of you this is gemini the magician magic is alive in your life virgo what you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it you can do it it will happen okay very nice this is like um definitely the magician is basically someone that has all the tools in their arsenal to, you know, make something happen. The magician comes with all of his props, you know, his magic hat, his rabbit, his, <laughs> didn't we see a saw yesterday? Um, you know, everything he needs to perform this, to perform, to make something happen, okay? And so this is the energy, like the time is flowing now. Things are beginning here. Okay. I guess this reading is kind of like a little bit of a singles and a little bit of a past person. I don't know. That name Matthew keeps popping up for me. I don't know who Matthew is or if that's connected to you. Let's see what else. Oh, gosh, here's Leo again. Okay, I know a lot of you are connecting with a Leo. Strength, personal power, assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you are stronger than you knew, Virgo. Some of you are on the cusp of Leo, Virgo. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just feeling like a heavy-duty air air energy here in this reading okay see i keep telling you air there's libra as well you might be connecting with a libra you've got justice <clears throat> this situation the good that you've put out in the past is coming back around here for you okay I don't know why, but the king, of, the king of Wands is in the reverse here. And the King of Wands in the reverse is pretty much an asshole. Narcissistic, bossy, rude, fire energy. Okay. So justice is here. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Um, this is a win-win outcome. If it's not someone from your past, Virgo, this is somebody that either you met before and it didn't go forward and it is now, or it's somebody that you, you know, well, that's just it. it it's like new, but not new. It's kind of like new with a scuff, <laughs> new with like a little bit of a scuff. Okay. You have seven of earth seeds well planted that's kind of how i feel like you met somebody before some of you and uh, there was a seed planted this person has not forgotten about you but they were not able to take something forward with you because of what was going on in their life at the time okay um your efforts though virgo and all the investments that you've made since then are going to be rewarded to you going forward. 
you've been patient but right now is the time for rest and planning for your future because you're coming into all this money <laughs> unnecessary worry so i don't feel like you have anything you need to be worrying about right now because it's either your past is returning or and they're ready or this is somebody new semi-new all right let's get some charms here oh they gave us five okay we have a camera this looks like the instagram camera so you guys remember to follow me on instagram um it's house o virgo h-o-u-s-e-o-v-i-r-g-o -O. okay so some of you might be photographers or you're taking pictures or you're getting your camera back out again um you could be taking some selfies <laughs> And this is an old-fashioned camera as well. So some of you might be looking for like your grandpa's camera or um, you're just out there, maybe amateur photography or doing some work like that. Or you're uh, looking at your camera right now or you're just out there taking pictures or you will be. You have like a, some of you are artists. Okay. Um, now we have a, oh, I have a saying here. Always and forever, each moment with you. And a rose, pink rose. And just like a dream that's real, will always come true. Wine and roses. Oh, blueberry wine. Or grape. No, this is blueberry. Some of you have sworn off drinking. You're not drinking anymore. And you just have water in your wine glass. You're toasting. What the heck is this thing? What? Wait. Is this? You guys, this to me, it looks like a squid or an octopus. I mean, I can show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Can you see it? I know it's hard to make out. That's why even I couldn't barely see it. This is, uh, some of you are going out for dinner. You're going to have seafood or you're going to have squid or octopus or, I don't know. I, I tried octopus once and it was like, it wasn't like calamari. It was more like the squid leg or octopus legs with the little tentacles. It was like, the real thing and like that was that wasn't happening <laughs> i just that's the kind of thing that at least for me i had to work up to um it was just the weird circly ten, circly things on the tentacles that you know when people look at those you look at those patterns that have like the holes with the little seeds in it i forget it's like some kind of phobia <laughs> and that that got me. I forget what that's called. Oh, I forget there's a there's a term for it. But they show it like a flower with all these holes and they're all in a pattern and they have seeds in it or something and it's like skeeves people out. And I was looking when I started looking at the octopus, that happened to me. And I said, No, <laughs> I just can't do it. But anyway, I'm just look, there's like dinner here and pictures and someone taking pictures together, going to dinner, going to a fancy, um, maybe an Italian restaurant or some kind of, maybe an Asian restaurant, some kind of seafood. Um, somebody's going to try octopus or squid or whatever. Um, it's kind of like um, a real fancy, fancy restaurant. There's like a pink rose on the table or this person gives you a pink rose it's like a real fancy dinner or something and it's just like it just i feel like this person that it it just is the message that this is like your forever person this is your forever person <laughs> virgo it's your forever person and very romantic it feels very romantic you know and and virgo males you might be doing this to your person being very romantic to this person that you connect with um you go out for a romantic candlelight dinner 
or something along those lines. You know, you provide all of that, you know, or this person, or you both work together, you bring a rose, you know, uh, somebody provides the wine, somebody, you know, fancy, fancy, what do they call that? Like um, delicates, deli a delicacy type of dinner of some sort. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. All right, you guys, obviously I'm a little bit beat today, so I wasn't really getting into singing mode. So, hey, I'm not on my, I'm not on the ball every single day, but I just wanted to be able to provide this to you. And hopefully this will give you some insight. October looks very lovely and very romantic for you. So let's leave it there. Let's not go any deeper with this. And, um, yeah, um, so I'm going to sign off, but again, show up, please, please, you guys, because I know you're in my chat like religiously and I love it and I would love to see you. So I'll be able to actually go one-on-one -on -one and, and talk with you guys. So that will be Friday evening, my time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I don't know where all of you guys are at. So if you just want to pop in, I'm going to have my peach schnapps because that's my favorite. <laughs> have a couple of sips and we'll just have some fun. All right, you guys. So please do hit like, share and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.